Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the Nomadic Travel Pack 14 liter, which I've been testing for two weeks. If you find this video helpful, click subscribe so we can keep bringing you content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. The 14 liter travel pack from Nomadic is designed for users with a smaller frame, yay! And because of that, it is one and a half inches shorter and one inch narrower than the 20 liter pack. But because it still has the expansion, it actually expands up to 21 liters, whereas the other travel pack expands from 20 to 30. So you do give up some space, but if you're a shorter user like me, you probably will be able to make it work. Um, it is a 100% vegan because this, although it sort of looks almost leathery, it's actually a tarpaulin exterior with polyester and nylon. So it's water resistant, can handle pretty much what mother nature is going to throw at you. We've also got water resistant zippers here. And speaking of the zippers, they do use two different brands of zippers. So the admin panel here and then the main compartment zipper are YKK, whereas the other zippers are Zoom zippers. Um, it's not really too much of an issue, although the expansion zippers we'll get to a little later sometimes has some issues going around corners. So I don't know, I might feel a little more confident tugging it around a corner with a YKK, but I haven't had any issues thus far. Um, there's also a Wujin buckle here on the sternum strap and I'm not quite sure what hardware these slides are to adjust the shoulder strap, but they work pretty well. And then you can carry it, obviously, as a backpack, but we've got a really nicely, really thick, you can see how thick it is, uh, carry handle here, which is really comfy. And then there's also two carry handles on each side, which are thinner, but they still work really well like if you want to carry it like a briefcase. And then on the back here is a luggage pass-through if you want to slip it over rolling luggage. Then branding, we've got Nomadic here on the shoulder strap and again on the front. And that's about it for the outside. For the harness system, the shoulder strap padding, it's, it's dense. It's not the thickest I've ever had, but it, it's good enough for a 14 liter bag. And even when you expand it and fill up the 21 liter capacity, we've got some breathable mesh back here for comfort. And then also there is a movable, but not removable uh, sternum strap here on a sliding rail, which is really easy to dial in the adjustment and then Obviously you can adjust, you know, you pull to find the right adjustment, but it does have this little bit of elastic on the sternum strap. So it really dials in the fit for you. That's really great. Um, gonna pull this out here. There are four pockets of this structured foam for the back panel. It is still rather stiff, but it's not uncomfortable. So that's, that's really nice. And then also you can tuck away the shoulder strap, the harness system, if you want to do it like a briefcase style, but you have to like give up your, your, you know, your fit to do that. Cause you got to lengthen the shoulder straps and then tuck them behind the luggage pass through like that. So if that bugs you, you may just want to sort of let the straps float freely as you are carrying it in briefcase mode. The Nomadic Travel Pack 14 liters, only available in black that I saw as of the time of this review. So it looks really nice in urban environments, metro areas, business settings, airport, restaurants, you know, it, it really, it can go pretty much everywhere because of the, you know, the sort of the modern-y look. It, it even when like I don't have it expanded right now, but even when you do expand it, it doesn't sag, which is really nice. It really does hold its structure very well. Now that is to say that even when you don't have a lot in here, maybe you're just carrying your laptop and a sweatshirt or something, it also doesn't compress down very much farther than this. It 
has its structure no matter what. So if you're trying to squeeze into a tight subway um, car, it, it might be a little more difficult that way. Each side of the Nomadic Travel Pack 14 liter has a water bottle pocket. And so you can kind of see I've put one in the one side and not in the other because I'm gonna flop over to the empty one here. They are um, magnetic. Hear that? It's kind of fun. But um, so the same tarpaulin exterior pops out and then you slide your bottle in and it stretches to accommodate a wide variety of sizes and widths because of this nice stretchy mesh. And then when you pull it out, sometimes it goes back by itself and sometimes you just got to help it. So if you don't, it's really no big deal, but just be aware that if that is an issue for you, just push it down. You saw how fast that was. Now moving on, we also have a quick grab pocket here at the top and it's a good place for your phone and you will see I have a cord. We're going to get to that in a moment as to why there's a cord in there. But then moving down here, we have a very large admin panel, accessory panel, whatever you would like to call it. And it opens all the way you shape completely so you can kind of see flip this to the side here. It's like, a, it's like a little drawbridge, sort of partially comes down. So you can see everything inside, which is kind of nice, but the fabric gusset holds it from just completely flopping open. There is a lot going on in this admin panel. So I guess even though there's so many pockets, you do still have room, you see, for this little tech kit. So I'm gonna set that off to the side, but Right here at the top, we've got an RFID safe pocket, and so that's a good place for your wallet, passport, anything you're afraid you know could potentially get uh, digital theft. And you can see these zippers, you can slide a lock through them. There's a little hole there and they go together, so you could slide a lock there, that's cool. Then moving down, we have another zipper pocket. This one's good for like a notebook or just any other small gear you like. And then there's two mesh pockets. You can see I've got my magic mouse here. It fits really nicely there. And a pen pocket for either a re regular pen or an Apple pencil. Then along the other side, oh, this is nice. You can see this. Um, we've got two other very large pockets. I've got a bulky wall charger cable here and the brick would fit there. I've got my AirPods because I always have my AirPods, but there's a lot of room for pretty much whatever you need to slide in there. Now moving on, we've got one more secondary compartment and that is the laptop compartment. That You wanna go all the way to the back zipper here. And again, it goes all the way around the bag, it actually goes around the bottom corners too because now it is designed so you can put it through the x-ray machine at the airport like this. Theoretically, because there's nothing above or below your laptop, you shouldn't have to take it out of the sleeve and you should just be able to pull, pull, push it on through, I can talk, push it on through the conveyor and just leave it like this. Now, of course, that is up to the, you know, your TSA agent or security officer, whether they're going to allow you, please don't argue with them if they still tell you to take it out, but that is the intent of the design. So you can just leave it in. Fits a 16 inch laptop. And then we do have another pocket over here for either a tablet or a Bluetooth keyboard or just some file folders. All right, now to get into the main compartment. It's this zipper at the top here, right above the quick access zipper, and it kind of curves back towards the carry handle, which is nice because you can just open it to pull just one thing out instead of having it all spill out because this does open completely to make packing easier. Lays flat like a suitcase, so it's easier to pack, especially with these structured sides, so that's great. You can see you can fit several p packing cubes in there, or you can just roll up your clothing. I did that, and it worked out really well. On the side here, we have two side pockets, and the one um, on the, <laughs> the right side of the front has this hard glasses case, which also has a little pouch inside and it all comes 
with the backpack so you can put your glasses in there, sunglasses, readers, whatever, or you can pull this out if you just don't want to use it. Then on the opposite side, this pocket has a retractable key leash, which is really long, and that's really cool, but it is sort of awkward to get into while the bag is on your back. But if you are more coordinated than I am, you can do that and open a door without taking the backpack off. I do have to say the key ring is a jump ring. So I preferred using carabiners to clip. I've got my work key fob here. Um, to clip that because having to slide keys on and off if you're like, you don't want to slide your car keys on there, it'd be hard to get off. So there's just that. Then along the front panel here, we have two mesh pouches for either toiletries or you could stash a battery bank in here because you can see this little doodad at the top here, this hole. Um, this is a cord pass through to the quick access compartment. So you could be carrying a battery bank and charging your phone without opening the whole backpack up. So that's really great. Then on the bottom here, you can see there is this mesh divider and it opens up this pouch, which is for shoes. This way it keeps your dirty shoes or sandals apart from your clean clothing. And you can also access this without going through the entire back panel. So if you didn't want to like take out all your clothes to get there. Remember I said this could grow from 14 to 21 liters. This is the compression zipper. So it goes, you can see it goes all the way around the bag, just like, you know, suitcase and it opens up and then you have all that extra space which is really great. And you can see it's the same material, so it's still water resistant, doesn't sag. But then at the top here, we've got a hidden zipper, which when you open it, allows you access to that compartment. See, there's my shoes. So if you're at the beach and you wanna switch from your, you know, your sneakers to your flip flops, you can just do that without opening everything up and while still keeping that um, contained, you know, all that dirt and whatever contained from your clothing, which is nice. Now I do have to say, so you can put the zippers all the way back here, but can you see, you probably can, how it like sticks out. Then it makes recompressing it a little difficult to get around the corners. So I do recommend trying to keep this zipper in the middle of either the top or the side so it goes over because the only issues I had with the zippers on this bag was this compression zipper. Redoing it, getting around the corner is sometimes a little funky, especially if you have that zipper pull, those zipper pulls right there on the corner. It's more to get around. But overall, you know, this is a really great bag for both everyday use and then for short weekend trips. If you have a lot of bulky sweatshirts and jeans, you're going to need more space. But if you don't, you can definitely manage to fit a couple days worth of gear in here. So there you have it, the Nomadic Travel Pack 14 liters. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.